Well, good morning, Banner, and welcome back from spring break. What? Welcome back. Yeah, I've got Mrs. Winkleman here with me. Mrs. Winkleman, you've been here for uh, how many years you've been teaching? And what do you what do you teach? Won't you? Twelve years in third grade, and every single year that I've been here. Which class has been your favorite class? Mm, this one, of course. <laughs> the fourth graders from last year. You were uh, my favorite last year. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, what do you like teaching most of? What do you like? What, what's been your best experience at Banner, Mrs. Winkleman? Mm, my best experience at Banner. I just love that Banner's like a family. I really just love that we really are a family here. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're like family. You're like you're like my niece or something. I don't know. Something <laughs> yeah. like that. I don't know. Okay. Well, I tell you what. We've got some birthdays. And Mrs. Winkleman, she's got these names nailed down. And, I've been working uh, on it. All right. And, and uh, let, let's hear these birthdays. Happy birthday all these people. All right. Happy birthday to Lily Donaldson in 5B. Happy birthday to James Meister and Sadi and Sanjay Narasimhan. Happy birthday to Oliver Bradley in 1H and Quincy Taylor in 4H. Leo Allen in Casey and Riley Hopwood in 3A. Also, we have a teacher's birthday. One of my teaching partners, Miss Altschul. Happy birthday. We also have uh, Mrs. Ryan's birthday in the office. So if you see them, tell them happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday all you guys. Hope you have a great week. And and uh, it's, it's, you know, you got to celebrate kind of pre-celebration with the spring break. So um, glad, glad, to, glad you guys enjoyed that. So you know what, third, fourth, and fifth grade students, you come back. And we got some exciting stuff. We've got your state testing coming up. It's called the IAR, or the Illinois Assessment for Readiness. And um, just a couple of reminders. Ms. Winkleman, if there's something I forgot, please help me out. Sure. Uh, students, you need to have, especially fourth and fifth graders, you need to have your Chromebooks charged uh, every single night. Mom and Dad, make sure they charge the Chromebooks. And you need headphones because part of the test they require headphones. Some of you guys forget your headphones. Make sure you don't forget your headphones. And and what, what else? What else do we need sleep. to do? Sleep. Lots of sleep. They're gonna sleep during the test? <laughs> no, they need it the night before every test. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought you were telling them they were gonna sleep during the test. Okay. I hope not. Good. Good. So do you think think your third graders are ready? Oh, they're so ready. Awesome. They might be a little nervous because they've never done this before, but fourth and fifth graders can tell them it's. They got this. Don't stress out about it. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. No, not no, our at kids, all. Our kids always rock it, so let's. What, right. we, we're, we're gonna do just fine. So, hey, um, yeah, that's. I think that's all we have for the third through fifth grade stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to ask you something. Yeah. How'd you like that pie in the face? You mean the two pies? The two pies in my face? <laughs> well, I tell you what. I uh, I took it upon myself to interview one of the pie throwers, and uh, you want to see what what that's all about? I'd love to. All right, here it is. We're gonna cut into that right now. Here I am with Wyatt. You want to introduce yourself, Wyatt, and tell us what class you're in? Hi, I'm Wyatt, and I'm in KB. And Wyatt, you threw a pie in my face, did you not? I did it. I, I got to throw a pie in his face. Why, why did you throw a pie in my face? Did that make you sad that you had to do that? No. You were happy to throw a pie in my face? Yeah. Well, guess what? What? You won something at the carnival. What did what did you win at the carnival? Being principal for a day. You gonna be principal for the day? Well, if you're principal for the day, that means I'm a student. Can I throw a pie in your face? Yeah. I can throw a pie in your face? Yeah. What? You guys hear that? We might have to throw a pie in Wyatt's face when he's principal for the day. Wyatt, if you were principal for a day, what would you what would you change about school? More recess. More recess. I like it. All right. Wyatt, I look forward to you being principal for the day. All right. <laughs> Wasn't that great? He's going to be principal for a day. We haven't picked the day yet, but you think That's he'll do awesome. a good job? He'll do great. Do you th you, maybe he could visit, read your classroom. Do you think he'd like oh, to do that? Oh, yeah. I bet he'd love that. Wyatt, would you like to do that? Okay. Well, we'll see. Say yes. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we'll do that. Okay. Hey, we've got some things going on uh, this coming week uh, after spring break, and and uh, we're going to go down all the grade levels and anybody that shared anything, and we'll let you, let's let's talk about what's going on this week. Okay, so kindergarten is going to come back and practice sign language. They're practicing for their grandparents' day coming up. Oh, the wonderful song! I think yes, oh, I can't yeah. wait to see that. First grade, you're going to be studying sunflowers and reading the book Tops and Bottoms, which is a book about 
with a lesson for a lazy bear that delivered, uh, that was delivered to him by a clever rabbit. Interesting. They're also starting double digit edition. Woohoo! Oh yes, <laughs> getting ready for third grade two years early. And they're writing a narrative about what they did over spring break. So uh, have fun first grade. Awesome, and second grade are going to be writing biographies and they are going to choose a famous person to research and then they're going to present on their famous person. On well, third grade, they are going to be, they're gonna continue their unit on government. That's right. Do you know tomorrow night is election day? Yep. Great timing for government. And they're gonna be learning about the, they're learning about national government too. They'll learn about the three branches, branches, like not tree branches, but three branches of government, what each branch's role is, and who is in charge of each branch. Wow, that's exciting stuff. All right, and fourth grade is working on measurement involving the American and the metric units in math. Oh, those get confusing. Yes. They get confusing <laughs> for sure, so good luck fourth grade with that. Fifth grade, they're gonna be rounding decimals, researching for their multi-genre project at the end of the school year, and learning about concentrated solutions in science. And in social studies, they're studying how life in America changed during World War I and how Americans helped on the home front. I love World War I, World War II history, so I hope, hope you guys enjoy that, fifth grade. All right, and Mrs. King is doing something really exciting. Have you ever seen the Netflix series, Nailed It? I, no, I hadn't either. Never even heard of it but until today. But it's a cooking show for amateur cookers. Okay. That, that's not a word, right? Cookers or amateur? <laughs> cookers. <laughs> I think they're both words. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was bakers. Maybe bakers, they're bakers. Cookers, same yeah, thing. Yeah. Anyways. You all know what we're talking about. That's right. So she had some students do some nailed it projects. All right. Let's take a look at what these did. These two kids said an awesome job. Ready? Here we go. Was that cute or what? That was awesome. That's awesome. Mrs. King, thanks for sharing those videos with us. Those were great. Uh, Mrs. Velker, she is, her life skills students, and Mrs. Velker is not here today because she's gonna be on maternity the rest of the year along with Mrs. Hudson and Mrs. Capati. We have a lot of, a lot of babies that have been, a lot of great news in the building this that year. That is awesome. So. Yeah. But, uh, well, let me get back to what Mrs. Velker's doing in her class. Um, they are learning about economics from their unique curriculum uh, for the month of April where they're gonna be buying and selling and making things. And then they go to Walmart when they come back too. So that's always a fun trip for them. So, um, all right, that's what's going on in our neck of the woods. Now, lunch, we've got some exciting news, Mrs. Uh, uh, Winkleman. They, on Thursdays from now to the end of the year, they're offering this awesome lunch. We'll take a look at it right there. Do you see it up there? Look up. No, you looked in the wrong way. Where? Look this way. It's right up here. It's, no, just look up. It's right, it's right here. Okay. And these Lunchables are going to be an option for you students. It's going to be, uh, doesn't it look good? It looks delicious. Oh. Pizza kit. It looks like a pizza kit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Yeah, and it's got like apples and yeah, it is there. I'm not it getting there. pulled again. <laughs> it's got apples and uh, so on. So every Thursday, your option for lunch, they're not going to have that salad. That's not going to be available on Thursdays only. Be available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, but not on Thursday. And so you can either get the main course lunch or you can get this munchable and. Uh, We'll see how many kids kids enjoy that. So thank you, Mrs. Gallette, for uh, for putting that together and being a. We're piloting that to see if uh, if we like it, if it plays in Banner. We'll <laughs> see if it plays in the other Dunlap schools. So so that's we're we're just giving it a try. So hey, it is that time now for the joke of the week. All right, what you got for me? Well, I tried to find an April Fool's joke. But it's, April Fool's it's hard right? to find an April Fool's joke because they're all pranks that you would play on people. It's so true. instead, I did a okay. school joke. Okay. Why did the student eat his homework? I don't know. Why did the student eat his homework? Because the teacher told him, it's a piece of cake. Oh, <laughs> very good. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. I love that joke. Well, Mrs. Winkleman, it's been a pleasure uh, uh, doing announcements with you. And Banner students, we hope you have a great week back from spring break. And... We're just going to rock it the rest of this year and, and have a good time and uh, work hard for your teachers. But most of all, we just want all you students to always remember that you, you belong, belong here. here.